Driving to Kidal takes time and nerve. 500 kilometers across this Martian landscape, which Mali's ethnic Tuareg call home. And in village after village, people turned out to make their voice heard. They chant Azawad, the historic local name of the area. And they say they want nothing less than total independence from Mali. Here, only one flag is raised high. It's that of the National Movement for the Liberation of Azawad, or MNLA, the rebel group that last year declared an independent state in northern Mali. The Tuareg and the Arabs say they are majority in this area, but within Greater Mali, they represent a light-skinned minority in a black country, and they complain of historic discrimination. These people rely on smuggled goods from Algeria and on raising livestock. Signs of Malian government control are rare to see here, as well as any sympathy towards it. No matter how different the people of this area might be, there is no disagreement whatsoever over the fact that we do not want Mali here. France led a military intervention to drive armed groups and foreign fighters from the area. Since then, the Tuareg and Arabs have been accusing the Malian army of extrajudicial killings and torture against them on racial grounds. My cousins were killed by the Malian army. They were simple merchants, not criminals. Sentiments against the central government are running high in Kidal. And protests have targeted the few people in the city believed to favor the return of Malian control. Our protest today is against those who love Mali, even though they live among us. If they like Mali, they should go back to it. Control over Kidal is now shared between the Tuareg rebels and the French and Chadian troops. The Tuareg hope Mali will never exert authority here, and this place will be part of a future state they can call their own. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Kidal.